Nitrations are really fun, yet I can't do them at home and therefore we are going to nitrate some benzoic acid today. For the preparation we are going to need 20 million metric picotons of benzoic acid, 14 milliliters of 68% nitric acid and 70 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid. We began by measuring out 14 milliliters of nitric acid. As you can see I added way too much and I poured some of it off later on. Remember not to pour back any acid into the storage bottle. The nitric acid was added to a round bottom flask sitting in an ice bath. Then 20 milliliters of sulfuric acid were measured out and under stirring they were very slowly added to the nitric acid. We ended up pouring the finished nitration mixture into another flask sitting in an ice bath. This is not nitration mixture anymore. This is 50 milliliters of sulfuric acid which we added to the flask from before. The benzoic acid was very slowly added while keeping the temperature below 5 degrees C. The benzoic acid won't dissolve completely into the sulfuric acid but we ended up with a nice suspension of benzoic acid. The cold nitration mixture was added in portions and again we made sure not to let the temperature exceed 5 degrees Celsius. The reaction of benzoic acid with nitration acid mainly produces 3 nitrobenzoic acid which you can see here. About 20% of 2 nitrobenzoic acid and 1.5% of 4 nitrobenzoic acid are also produced. Because we carefully had to monitor the temperature, the reaction itself took a long time. In the end we were left with this white solid mass which needs to be purified. It was poured into ice water and the reaction of the sulfuric and nitric acid with the water was pretty exothermic. A vacuum filtration was performed to get rid of most of the water and also to get rid of the acid. The filter cake was washed several times using distilled water to get rid of as much of the acid as possible. In the end we were left with this. It looks pure but it certainly isn't. A lot of distilled water was added and recrystallization was performed. Similar to normal benzoic acid, nitrobenzoic acid poorly dissolves in cold distilled water but it easily dissolves in hot water. Once dissolved the hot plate was turned off and the nitrobenzoic acid was allowed to crash out. It settled as a white powder, another filtration was performed and afterwards it was dried over an hydrous calcium chloride in a vacuum desiccator. In the end we were left with 19 grams of nitrobenzoic acid. I didn't calculate the yields but it seems to be really good. If you liked today's video make sure to like and subscribe and I also have to thank all of my Patreon supporters because you guys make it possible for me to film even cooler stuff. If you want to become a Patreon too make sure to check the link in the description.